Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to make mango raspberry macarons. These macarons are filled with mango curd and raspberry buttercream. A seriously delicious combination. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel, I post new videos every week. Place a bowl over a pan with barely simmering water. Add sugar and egg white powder to the bowl. If you follow my videos, you know that I wasn't using egg white powder over winter because the weather was super dry and now it's a bit more humid so I started using egg white powder again. Add the egg whites to the bowl and whisk until the sugar has completely melted. It should take a couple of minutes. You can test by touching the mixture and if you don't feel any sugar granules, you can remove it from the heat. Transfer the syrup to a mixer. Whisk on low and then gradually increase the speed to medium and then to medium high. And finish whipping the meringue until stiff peaks are formed. When you pull up the whisk, the peak should be shooting straight up. Pour sifted powdered sugar and almond flour into the stiff meringue and begin folding. As soon as you see no more streaks of dry ingredients in the meringue, stop stirring. Then divide the batter between two different bowls. Work with one bowl at a time, leaving the other one covered meanwhile. To the first batter, I have added a little bit of pink gel food coloring. Stir the batter until the perfect consistency is achieved. I've also added a drop of mauve food coloring. Fold until the batter is flowing slowly and effortlessly off the spatula. You should be able to pick up the batter with the spatula and draw several figure eights with the batter that's flowing. To give a layered color effect to the shells, I brushed the walls of the piping bag with some purple food coloring. It's best not to go overboard with the food coloring when doing this. Then we're going to transfer the pink batter to the piping bag. Secure the top with a tie so the batter doesn't escape while piping and to keep the batter from drying out while you work with the remaining batter. Now it's time to work with the second batter. We're going to dye this one yellow. After adding food coloring, stir until the perfect consistency is achieved. The batter should be flowing off the spatula slowly and effortlessly. I brush the sides of the piping bag with orange food coloring. Then transfer the yellow batter to the piping bag and also secure the top with a tie. Now we're going to place a large piping bag fitted with a round tip in a cup. 
Using a pair of scissors, snip the ends of each piping bag that contains the colorful batters. And place the two bags inside of the large piping bag. To pipe the shells, position the piping bag over the center of each circle template at a 90 degree angle and start applying gentle pressure to release the batter. After you pipe the shells, bang the trays against the counter or against the palm of your hand to release any air bubbles. And also use a toothpick to pop any remaining air bubbles from the surface of the macarons. Let the shells air dry for about 20 to 40 minutes. You can bake when you can touch the surface of a macaron and it doesn't stick to your finger. I bake my macarons at a 325 Fahrenheit oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Now we're going to make the mango curd. To obtain mango pulp, simply puree the mango in a food processor or in a blender cup. Beat the butter with an electric mixer for about 30 seconds. Add sugar and beat for another minute. Then add the egg yolks and mix. Finally, add the mango pulp and lemon juice to the bowl and mix. Then transfer everything to a small saucepan. Start cooking over low heat, stirring non-stop with a spatula. Do not stop stirring and also don't let this mixture boil. Keep cooking for 5 to 10 minutes. The curd should be thick and coating the back of a spoon and a thermometer should indicate 170 Fahrenheit. This is the exact consistency that the curd should have. Once the curd is ready, pour it into a bowl and let it cool down, then place it in the fridge for at least 6 hours to chill through. To make the raspberry buttercream, beat the butter at medium speed with an electric mixer. With the mixer off, add powdered sugar, raspberry powder, and milk. Mix on low until incorporated and then raise the speed. Beat the mixture until the buttercream is smooth and creamy. To assemble the macarons, pipe a ring of frosting around the edges of the bottom macaron shells. Then pipe a little bit of curd in the center. I find that piping the curd instead of spooning it in the center is much easier and does a much cleaner job. Then top the macarons with another shell and let them sit in the fridge overnight before serving. I really hope you enjoyed today's recipe. 
For the full recipe and instructions, you can go to paisantacos.com. I'm going to put a link down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.